Today I'm going to show you how I created a banner for a church in Pilsen in Chicago. You can use this for anything you want to. So I did provide you with the cross and there's a link below. Download that. If it asks you to match the number and the letters, do it in order and then it will let you download it. Or you can provide your own image with a transparent background or remove the background and create your own sign. And you can also change the text and sub that for an image. Now what I had to do first is match the purple and the blue on the sign outside the church and put that around the border of the signs. I gave them two options. They chose this one. So I had to create a new file. Uh, go to File New or hit Control or Command plus N. I want to change this to inches. I want this to be 24 inches by 48 inches. And just type in 48. Make sure it's set to landscape. And let's go down to advanced options. I want to make sure it's at 300 dots per inch because that's what printers want. And in terms of the background, we have a foreground color and a background color. So if I choose that, it will be white or black, or I can just choose white or choose transparency or a pattern. Let's go with white and click OK. Now it's going to say your file is super huge. Don't worry about that because we are going to print this and it's at 300 dpi. Normally that might be 72 dpi if you're doing it just a normal file, but if you want to print something, make sure it's 300 dpi. So now I'm going to bring in the photograph of the outside of the church. And I want to match the colors. I'm going to rotate this and zoom in. And I want to grab the purple here. So I'll go up to my color picker tool or press O. And left click. And it's going to appear in my foreground color. As you can see over here. Now I'll switch that. Now the black is my foreground. Now I want the blue. I already have that selected the picker tool, so left click here, and now the blue is going to appear. And then from here, I'm going to grab the code. So this is the code for the purple, 9A is an apple, 284A is an apple, and the blue code is 00569F as in Frank. And normally a client will provide that. If not, you can get it this way. And you can also get a, a use of the picker on another screen anywhere you want. So we don't need this picture anymore. Let's get rid of this image. And the first thing we're going to do is grab our ellipse tool or press R on our keyboard. Let's left click here and drag. And don't worry about making this perfect because once I let go, I can grab any corner here and move it around to where I want it. And then once I have it in place, I'll go up to select, down to invert, or press Control or Command I, left click inside the line, and then go up to bucket fill tool, or press Shift and B as in boy. Now it's going to, let's switch to that, make sure the top is purple, left click inside the dotted area here, and it's going to fill that area with purple. Now we're going to do the same thing for the blue. Let's go back up to the ellipse tool or press R. Left click and drag. And switch the colors to make sure that the blue is on top. But first I want to go back up to select. Down to invert or press Control or command I. Now make sure blue is on top. And go back over to our bucket fill tool or press shift plus B as in boy. Click inside those dots and that should fill with the blue. And that's how you create a border. So if you're creating, say, a Time Magazine cover, the purple will be red, and then the blue will be white, and then the picture goes inside the white. Now let's bring in the cross. So let's go ahead and drag it down right here onto the Layers menu, and let's drag it up to the top. Now we have to scale that. So we'll go up here, or press Shift plus S as in Sam, to select our Scale tool, click inside the cross, Hold shift and grab a corner and just drag. Then to move it, 
in scale mode, click inside the cross in the middle and move it over. Now we'll go over to our text tool or press T as in Tom on your keyboard and we're going to bring in our top text. Now here's where I can change the font. I want to make sure I'm at stencil standard bold. Here I can change the color or justify it down here or change the spacing. Let's make sure our color code is on top, the 98284A, which is the purple. Let's left click and drag. Let's change that to 98284A. Click OK. Left click inside here and start typing. Now this can be whatever you want, so you don't have to follow me. Bring in your image and type in your text and create your sign or follow along just for the practice. So let's highlight that and change the font size to 250 maybe. Okay, 300. Let's grab a corner here and drag it over. Now let's go up to our move tool and move it down just a little bit. And now I'm going to duplicate that so I can press Control or Command plus D as in David or go down and duplicate. Go back to our move tool and drag this over. And let's go back to our text tool or press T on your keyboard. Highlight that and delete it and then type in your second text line. Now let's go back into that. Let's go ahead and go back to our text tool. Click edit and let's delete some of this and press delete. Grab a corner here and move it over. You know, that's about what I want. Go back up to our move tool or press M as in Mary on your keyboard. Now let's go up to image, guides, and percentage. Let's bring in some guides. So let's go at 50% horizontal. Let's go back up to image, guides, and let's go 50% at vertical. And now we can snap that cross to a guide. Let's go to our move tool, press M on your keyboard and move that cross over and there you go. And now move all the other text in place or in line the way you want them. Let's go back up to text again and let's make this click inside that, highlight that and make the text a little bit bigger. Make it 288. Move that over. Make sure it's bold. Let's highlight that first. Now make sure it's bold. Let's move that. Go back to our move tool. Press M. Now we should be okay. Okay, that's decent. So it gives you an idea how to do that. Now we can bring in our main text on the left side. So we'll go back up to our text tool or press T as in time on your keyboard. Left click and drag. Make this box a lot bigger. Let's change our font size to 350, left click inside and let's start typing again. We're also going to change the font color here to black. Type that first and let's highlight that and click here and drag it down. Now it's going to be black. Let's click outside the text and hit enter twice. And now we can type our next text or the English version of the top text. And again, this could be an image so you can put a picture here if you want to. Now we're going to type here, hit enter and type mark 1014. Let's highlight that. Let's go up to color and we know the color is 98284A as an apple. Let's change that to purple. Let's highlight everything and change our font size for everything to 444. Okay, and let's go back into our text tool and let's move this around and drag it down so it fits the way you want it. Because I want to make a copy of this and take it over to the right side and then do it the same way. Let's increase our font to 465 to make it feel the frame better. So again, we don't want too much dead space. Now we can also hit Control M or D to make a copy of that text. Hit M for the Move tool and bring it over. 
and then click T for the text tool. Let's highlight this and delete it. Hit your delete key. Let's do the top first. Delete. And let's type in our next text. Premiere was misspelled here, but on the client sign it was not. And I'll show you that at the end. Let's type in the English translation. And then we're going to change Mark 1014, of course, to everyone's welcome in Spanish and in English. Loose translation. And keep typing, press enter, and just keep typing. Then we're going to highlight all of that and change the font size so it fits and change it to 333 there you go now we want to export this so I can press shift plus control or command plus E as a network or go to file and course export and I'm gonna change this to a ping I could use you know PDF whatever I want Photoshop but I want to change it to a ping file because I want this to be really big so it can look really good when I blow it up. And then I'm going to export that. The purple banner you see now, I just did that for fun at the end of the lesson to match the cross color, but that's not the color I used. Now we no longer need the program. Let's go over to Retail Me Not First so we can grab a code to save some money. I'm going to type in Best of Print. I'm going to use a 15% off and free shipping. I just normally write this code down and just type it in. Then I go to Vistaprint. I'm going to log into my account. Now you can use Canva, whatever you want to use. And I can put this on any sign I want. Outdoor, big banners, because I made it really big. So the quality should stay intact. And you can use their templates as well, but we're going to put this on, a, on an outdoor poster. Right, but I could make it 6 feet by 12 feet. 8 by 12 feet so and that will cost you 25 bucks so if you know what you want to do you, this will tell you what to charge your client so for this poster I'm going to create a 36 by 48 I'm going to make it horizontal or landscape so that's going to be the top that's going to be the bottom and I'm just going to wrap it around a board in which they want to put on the top of a door entrance it's going to be outdoor it's 85 bucks so you can charge, you know, 250 bucks, 300 bucks, whatever you want to charge, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, whatever you want to charge. Now there are templates you can use, but I'm going to upload my own, the sign I just created. I'm going to upload that. It's going to pop it into place for me in the middle where I want it. And this is just what I did for my client. Now these borders are important, so drag this in. Left click that and drag it in to where you don't see any of these yellow warning signs because that will print outside the box. What I like about this too is with Vistaprint, what you see is really what you get. I like the quality of the work and the products. I never have a problem with them. And I can check it out. I can preview it. I can also send this to my client and say, this is what you're going to get. Do you want it? Proofread it. Any mistakes are on you. And at this point, I just view it, purchase it, or edit it, and hit next. And I just pay, and I'm done. Now, I've already done this, so let's go over to my history. Let's go down. This is my order for the sign. I did this on 9-24-2021, September 24th. And it was 70 bucks, so they got $15 off. They wanted expedited shipping, the church, so we paid 29 bucks, but that should have been free. But the total was 106.24. 34 by 48 sign. This is so easy. You can see 85 bucks down here, and now it came up to 70 with the discount using Retail Me Not. That's how I pay. Just click on it, as you can see also. Okay, so here's our finished product. It came in three days, and they wanted this on plywood, so I bought liquid nails and some other type of glue that was waterproof, and I glued it up really good. I stapled that, and I sealed the staples. I tucked the top, tucked the bottom, and the sides, and I put it on a quarter-inch piece of plywood that I bought from Home Depot. So the whole thing cost me, I don't know, under a hundred bucks. And this is what it looks like. They put it above the soup kitchen. The church is over here to the right. I spelled Primera 
correctly, of course, on here. But you always want to make sure that your client proofreads this, but they were going to give me 250 bucks for this. And this sign could be anything. It could be, you know, a hamburger, pizza place, whatever you want to do. You can help small businesses come up with good ideas to bring people into their restaurants or into their stores, you know, retailers. So there's things you can do. Get creative, research it, and start making money using GIMP and Vistaprint. It's really easy to do. I could have, again, doubled my profit on this very easily. And I did it, as you can see, in, what, 20 minutes. Okay. Find out more at midamericandreamers.org.